Today, hundreds of seniors in Hillsborough County, they're going to hit the stage in person to get their diplomas. This will be the first large graduation ceremony since 2019. Our very own Marco Villarreal is live at the Florida State Fairgrounds explaining the return of graduation ceremonies. This is a big deal, Marco. Big deal, big deal, especially for all those graduating seniors. 14,000 of them that are going to be taking the stage out here in the first in person graduation ceremony since 2019. And this is welcome news for those students who have had a senior year like none other in history. Here's how it's going to work every senior gets to bring up to four people to watch them graduate. Those four people are then going to be sat in pods, socially distanced, three to six feet from other pods. Each school is going to have instructions for each of those invited regarding where to enter from. Masks are required and plenty of hand sanitizer will be on hand. The school district says between graduations, there's going to be a four-hour buffer to allow time for cleaning and disinfecting. And this is all work that has been done by the school district as they have worked with local health officials and the fairgrounds. Now, they just have one message to graduating seniors. The class of 2021, congratulations to each of you. What a special time. We know you need this moment. You've been through so much this year with, with, your, you know, with your teachers, with your support staff, with your families, with our community, with our nation. This is just a time to really celebrate all the great things that you've done. And they have done a lot. First and foremost, they're surviving a pandemic, right? Well, today, starting at 4 p.m., that's the very first graduation that's going to be happening out here. And it's going to be Plant High School. Those graduating seniors and their families will be invited out here to take part in this. And coming up on News Channel 8 at 6.30, we're going to be talking about not just the graduating seniors, but those who are now trying to get back on the road to graduating. There's been several students that have unfortunately slipped back in their studies and education, and we'll have more on what the district's plan is for them coming up at 6.30. For now, reporting live at the Florida State Fairgrounds, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.